What's up and welcome to another edition of Razor News. I'm Chris Van Vliet. And Lindsay Lohan has proved that she could very well be the luckiest celebrity on the face of the planet. So by now, we all know that the freckled star was arrested for two DUIs and both times she was found with cocaine on her. Well, it turns out that somehow, by some, like, divine intervention or something, the L.A. County's district attorney is probably going to reject the felony charges against her. TMZ.com is reporting that she'll likely be charged with a misdemeanor instead, which will obviously mean way less time in jail if she is found guilty. Now, if Lindsay's the luckiest celeb, Britney Spears has got to be the stupidest one. According to the New York Post, Justin Timberlake had written a duet for Brit to sing with him, but for some reason, a reason which no one knows, she backed out on it at the last minute. Her label probably isn't too happy about this because they were pretty much counting on this thing to be her huge comeback song. Alright, so we've covered Lindsay, we've covered Britney, and logically, who's next? Yep, it's Paris Hilton. Apparently she's working on her third book. And I know what you're thinking, Paris Hilton has written two books already? Chris Van Vliet, are you being serious? Yes, my friends. Unfortunately, I am being serious. But as far as this new book is concerned, we don't know many details right now. But all we know is that it will not be about her 23-day stint in jail. And Gwen Stefani ran into some problems with her stage costumes when her tour brought her into Malaysia. The singer had to modify her wardrobe for her concert in Malaysia after being criticized by the National Union of Malaysian Muslim Students for her sexy image, saying it would, quote, corrupt the country's youth. Gwen responded to the controversy by wearing clothes that covered her from her shoulders to her knees. And you know who knows a thing or two about sexy, revealing outfits? Beyonce. During a performance in Toronto on Tuesday, Beyonce showed the crowd her goods by accident, of course, when her shirt flew up. It was up for literally like two tenths of a second, but you can definitely see it. But you know what? Screw my description of all this, because all you little creepers are just going to go look it up on YouTube anyway. Now, UFC 74 is coming up this weekend. I'm a huge fan, obviously. I'm super pumped about this. And somehow I've dug up this rare footage of Jim Carrey showing off his MMA fighting abilities. Hey, hey! <laughs> Me, myself, and Irene is this week's Razor Flick. You can catch it this Friday at midnight Eastern time. And that is it for today, my friends. I'll catch you back here tomorrow.